Hello there again friends, it's 12-3-2021 and this is vlog day 7 for the Odin project and we got into HTML foundations today and I got through the intro to HTML and CSS section, the elements and tags section, and the HTML boilerplate. Um, I'm going to run through these kind of quick because the boilerplate is actual coding and I'd like to um, spend some time on that with you and do do it live with you here. Um, so that's kind of exciting. So I kind of want to spend most of my time on that. So we're going to fly through this. Uh, this just talks about the difference between HTML and CSS. Uh, you can read uh, about the differences between that, uh, CSS, HTML, and JavaScript, and why you need all three to make a successful web page. Um, there's a free CoCamp article that goes into more depth. Um, there's a devdocs.io that I bookmarked that do goes deep dives into uh, API documentation for all kinds of APIs for different things. And next lesson will be elements and tags. Um, it's real basic stuff here. just talks about what an open tag is, a closing tag. It has the, the slash there. The contents is in the middle. And... Um, that would be a paragraph tag, by the way, and um, and then there's a little assignment to watch uh, this intro video. It's all it's all good stuff. It's entry level intro stuff. Um, no no harm, no foul here. It's all good. It's it's warming you up slowly. Um, and then the next lesson is the boilerplate. And so this goes through a little more meaty. It goes through um, creating the HTML file, creating the um, index.html and create an HTML boilerplate folder and it, it steps you through that through the command line and, and I'll show you how to do that we'll, I'll show you how I did it anyway and then um, and then it goes dives right into um, looking at the uh, different elements of the HTML and uh, and the head file and all that so uh, I don't want to get much too into this here because we're going to do it at the do it on VS Code. Um, so without further ado, there's some assignments here. Um, building your first web page demo. It's pretty cool stuff, basic stuff. Um, yeah, there's this cool HTML validator. You can run your boilerplate through to see if there's any extra spaces that, that aren't needed. It basically just checks your code out to make sure that it's syntactically correct. Um, and then there's a couple knowledge checks here. Um, and actually it's good because I get to build some muscle memory so we're going to do this together and I'm going to try to do it from scratch and see if I can get through it here uh, on this video and see how that goes. So without further ado, let's get into it. So um, what I did, uh, let's see, bring up terminal. So if I do ls, you'll see that I've already created, I did a make dir to create the... Um, uh, where's that HTML boilerplate uh, folder and if I CD into that and then list it you'll see there's an index HTML I did a before I did a touch I just typed in uh, you know touch and then index dot if I could type HTML <clears throat> I won't do it because it'll overwrite, but I did that um, to get the file created and then um, to bring up, and then after that, after I created it, um, I did code dot space dot and then index dot html and that will bring up, I won't do it because it's already up, but it will bring up Visual Studio Code and open that index html file that's inside the html boilerplate folder and that gets us to where we're at now and so I opened up a Firefox session here on the right to see um, to actively and I put the file in there just drug it literally drug it from here over to here and it popped it up there excuse me I'm sorry so I can see the um, the uh, file and see it in action in live so um, let's go ahead and just build this out so first we need doc type uh, this is going to tell the browser that we're going to be using HTML today, and we're using that as our markup language for right now. And then we, we're 
going to tell it with the HTML. We have HTML tags that we need to set in here. Oh, and I've not ever done this in VS Code. I do like that how it auto completes. Might be kind of annoying down the road, but for right now it's pretty cool that um, that it does that automatically. When I was learning how to code with HTML and CSS last time, it was all integrated into the browser. I didn't use VS Code, so this is kind of exciting and new to me. Anyway, so on, inside the HTML tags, we will need a head tag, which that's um, basically <clears throat> contains the metadata and the title of the document of the web page. So in here, we're going to do title. And we'll just say, um, um, you know, uh, new page. I don't know, whatever. Um, and then we need to add a metadata because we need to tell the browser what type of character set. So we're going to do char set, and we're going to do UTF-8, which is this pretty much the standard. Um, W3C standard for uh, internet convention um, for characters. So we'll close bracket that to complete that. Does not need an ending closing bracket um, on that particular one. And then I think we're going to go down here and we're going to put a space in there and do, um, I believe, body will be the one, next one. And we need to add something into the actual page. So we're just going to do an H1, which is uh, basically a heading one. Um, this makes something, uh, whatever you put inside here, the contents will be larger and bolded to uh, stand out. And you'll see that here in a moment when I save this. So um, this is my first web page. Okay and just to clean it up a bit should be able to just do that and if I have everything correct she will do control s to save and over here f5 to refresh and boom there it is new page it's in the tab because that's in the metadata in the head in the head you keep want to say header new page cool this is my first web page this is my first web page bada bing bada boom guys um, probably could clean it up a little bit and take the extra space out there. Um, this is a great start. Um, one thing that was really cool that I learned in the text that I didn't know is that, uh, or in the um, lessons, is that, again, because I hadn't used VS Code for HTML, is that if I delete all this, uh, that's called, a, what we just made was called a boilerplate. I didn't know what that meant. I didn't. I thought that was made up <laughs> by uh, by the Odin project, but I don't know. Apparently, it's not. It must be a a common uh, term used in the HTML world. Again, I'm showing my rookie novice noobness here, but um, I learned though. If you hit exclamation point and you hit enter, it will build that all out for you <laughs> automatically or automatically, as they say. Um, now, of course, the Odin project, the, they, they said in the module, you know, uh, they took, the, use this to say, uh, don't, don't rely on this, but after you do, do your first couple projects by manually typing this in so you get a muscle memory and you memorize how to do it, but after that you can use this shortcut and it basically just saves you a bunch of time. And it adds some additional things that weren't co covered in the modules, like I can tell that this one's using, it's telling the browser that it's going to use um, IE or Edge. I'm not exactly sure, and I'm never going to BS you guys, so I don't know what this means. Um, uh, I could guess, but, and then this stuff, um, oh, I guess if you hover over it, it'll tell you, okay, attribute continue value, okay. Interesting, but yeah, I, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you I know what all this means. But all this stuff's included in that that bang command that you run. And if I save this and refresh this, obviously it'll show what what's in here. So the title became document. There's nothing in the body um, because it just wasn't in that 
uh, pre-built template so there's nothing on the page here now but that's pretty much it so um, yeah I'm excited that got me through the first uh, three modules of uh, HTML and we'll be working on text and formatting text tomorrow I believe I think it's uh, I think that's what it is uh, formatting let's see um, working with text yeah working with text couldn't remember so that's all I have for tonight uh, or today uh, wherever you guys are at in the world thank you for watching and until next time see ya